Is this computer okay? Hey, Sean. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> um, so I have three questions for my class. Uh, the first one is, what it, does it mean for you to be an entrepreneur? Yeah, so from, from my perspective, um, I, I think an entrepreneur is a little bit higher level than what most people probably think of as an entrepreneur or probably call themselves as entrepreneurs. I think most people would call an entrepreneur a business owner. But in my opinion, you know, there's a business owner and then there's someone who's like a next step will be an investor. And that's someone who not only owns their own business, but is now investing in other businesses that they're not operating. And then the next level would be an entrepreneur. And that's really where you're, you have your own businesses, you're investing in other businesses, and you sort of have this entrepreneurial mindset, which is really just creation. You know, you're, you're creating jobs, you're creating businesses, you're creating new ideas, you're just a big creator. And uh, that can take the form of business, it could be properties, it could be all kinds of things, so. Yep. Um, so then the next question is, since you are an entrepreneur and you have gone through all those different stages and have gained all that experience over the years now, Looking backward, what would you have wished that you would have learned in school that would have prepared you for being an entrepreneur now? Yeah, so um, I guess it would it would make a little difference whether you're talking about high school or college, but I would say just generally, certainly in high school, there's like, there's pretty much no conversation or if there's very little, very little conversation around owning a business or being an entrepreneur. So I think the first and foremost would be if there was actually a class that talked about it or entrepreneurship was talked about in one of the classes like economics or something like that, then that would be cool because at least you'd start to realize that it's an opportunity or an option. Uh, and then I think more specifically, if a class could talk about finances or the financial you know, the importance of finances or financial return on investments and things like that, because that's that's a lot of what's important, for example, in owning a business. You know, if you can't make money, you're not going to be doing it very long. So, you know, we have to make sure you understand finances. You can look at whether there's a return on investment. And again, that's just not really talked about or, or taught uh, in, in high school. And if it is done in college, it's, again, still pretty minimal. So. So then going from there, if somebody would want to become an entrepreneur, what are three things that you would say you have to consider that before you start going down that path? Yeah, so probably the three most important things, number one is gonna be similar to what I was talking about, which is uh, you know the, the ROI. Uh, can you get a return on investment with this venture you want to go take or start or do? Uh, because like I said, if you can't um, make money with it or if you can't get a return on your investment, then you probably, again, won't be doing it very long. So that's going to be important. Make sure that you understand how much money it's going to take to get started. How much money will it take to sustain it? Can you make more money than what you're going to put in there so you can actually you know, live a good life, things like that? Um, so yeah, the financial aspect is what someone I think should consider. Secondly, I think people should ask themselves, for some period of time, they're going to be actually doing the work of the business or the, or the entity that they're creating. So as an example, one of the businesses I chose not to do was a, uh, when I was considering becoming a business coach, I looked at owning a uh, kickboxing franchise. And when I was thinking about it, Number one, the financials didn't seem that great to me, so I wasn't as interested, but also I thought of myself and I was thinking, okay, so I would probably be in there in the gyms, cleaning the sweat off the equipment, like cleaning up all the stuff. And I'm like, I don't really want to do that. So I think someone else should consider whether they're okay doing the activity of the venture for some period of time. Obviously, if you grow, you can hire people to do all the stuff you probably don't want to do, but for some period of time, you'll probably need to do some of that. So I think everyone should be asking themselves, you know, hey, do I want to do this? Is it enjoyable? Can I, do I mind doing it? Do I have a passion for it? Stuff like that. And then, um, uh, you know, thirdly, I would think it's always good to think and consider what sort of worst case scenario for you. So let's say you go and you start this venture, you give it a shot, you might spend some money, you might spend some time. Um, what happens if all that doesn't work? What happens if you lose everything? Uh, you lose all the time or you lose all the money that you put into it. Like, would you be okay? Could you go get another job or could you 
find money elsewhere? Could you do a different venture, right? So I think people need to just consider from a risk reward perspective, if you did this opportunity and it went to zero, are you going to be okay, right? Is that, can you be, oh, can you live, can you still live, afford to live, live a good life? Is your confidence going to be shattered, right? If, if it doesn't work. Um, and I think if you're okay with sort of that worst case scenario, you know, then it's, you're probably in good shape, so. Thank you very much for that shorter version. Um, <laughs> we both have some uh, commitments. I will spare you any further uh, delay. I greatly appreciate your time once again and wish you an excellent rest of the evening. No problem.